Grace Abbott is best known for her social activism on behalf of immigrants and children. She headed the Children's Bureau from 1921 to 1934. Grace was born on November 17, 1878 in Grand Island, Nebraska. Her parents were Othman Ali Abbott and Elizabeth Lizzie Griffin Abbott. She had two brothers and one sister. Growing up, her parents taught and encouraged her to think one's own thoughts, which would help her to become a person who could give her own viewpoint of an argument and support herself. In June of 1898, Grace Abbott completed her college work and obtained a teaching position in the high school of Broken Bow. A few years later, one of her friends arranged for her to be appointed as the director of the Chicago Immigrants Protective League. Afterwards, from 1917 to 1919, Abbott worked as an administrator with the Children's Bureau where she undertook the task of ensuring child labor protection. In 1919, Abbott returned to Chicago and was appointed by the governor to be the director of the newly established Illinois Immigration Commission. But by 1921, Abbott returned to the Children's Bureau, this time as the director. At the Bureau, she undertook the task of enforcing and administering the controversial Shepherd Toner Act. After 13 years as the director, in 1934, Abbott retired from the Children's Bureau and became a professor at the School of Social Service Administration at the University of Chicago. Commitment to clients. She demonstrated this by helping them in any way she could. The book mentioned a story about a girl who was looking for her friend who worked in a factory. Grace personally went with her to look for her friend and they did eventually find her. After getting lost a few times and then finding out that Grace hadn't written the address properly, she remained firm until they actually found the girl's friend. Cultural competence and social diversity because when she was the director of the Chicago Immigrants Protective League, she hired many people who could speak in different languages so that the people who went to them would not have a language barrier to overcome before they even started to get the help they needed. And now, I would like to end my video with a quote from Grace Abbott. Some ask, why should anyone seek a part of the struggle to end the injustice and ugliness of our modern life? Why choose the strenuous life? They are the lotus eaters, who prefer to live in a gray twilight in which there is neither victory nor defeat. It is impossible for them to understand that to have had a part in the struggle, to have done what one could, is in itself the reward of effort and the comfort in defeat.